So Jordan Seaton, I wanted you to just kind of break down his impact. I understand he's a true freshman, hell of a freaking player. Came from ING, played next to Brett Cool J, you know, who we had on the show yesterday. But I mean, he, I mean, you can see it right here. You know, 161 pass blocking snaps with two pressures and zero sacks. Just what are your thoughts on his performance the last three games? He seems to have stepped up his play. I mean, true freshman adjusting to you know power flight plays, no joke. But what are your thoughts? Um, you know, being a five star, he's a he's a hell of a football player, like you said. He, you know, he's got a lot of growth in front of him as well, which is scary. Um, you know, in two years from now, he'll be a top five pick if he stays healthy and does things right. He's just that kind of player. Yeah, I, I can only imagine what kind of offseason he's going to have. You know, with all the success he's having now, he'll be. Not only is he going to be an all Big 12 player, I'm sure, at some point, but he'll be a first team freshman All American and all, all the freshman All American accolades that you can get, he's going to get them. So, uh, I, look, I think he's a fucking beast, man. Um, it, it's a matter of building around him now for the future. You know, Zelinkas isn't going anywhere, he's only a sophomore. Um, what are you going to do with the other three spots? It seems like 55 locked down the, the right guard. That kid was a monster the other day. We'll see what he does moving forward. But, look, they, they've got a lot of growth in front of them on the O-line. They're young, retrospectively, and he's going to be the catalyst for getting better. And not just him, for everyone. Like, he, he's gonna, he'll be the Shador, the Travis Hunter of the offensive line, just getting – as he improves and as he pushes – and as he, you know, sets the tone for everybody else, he's already doing it as a fucking freshman, true yeah. freshman. Yeah. So as he as he sets the tone for everybody else, everybody's going to have to set the standard for themselves at his basement. So, yeah. like, everybody's going to have to chase 7-7, seven, seven, and that's good, man. When, again, when your best players set the standard from a work ethic perspective and from a standard perspective – you know, a lot of people think that that's like, you know, it, it's it's hard to lead that way. And I don't think there's any other way to lead. So, yeah. no, I think it's not a hell of a point there. I mean, now I just need Jordan to pick up the phone and convince Brett to go to Boulder because I am working my ass off to make this happen. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, people, people are seeing what he said about the Colorado UCF game. And we put that, that was game. awesome, right? He's like, yeah, I went to UCF to CCU. And I was like, I thought people weren't doing that. Yeah, that, that was the argument over the week. You and JB and others have talked about it the whole time. So, hey, but yeah, Jordan Seaton, hell of a player, true freshman, balling out there. Like to see that. Obviously, he's a five star coming in there, but we like to, you know, you see him out there yelling and leading, trying to lead. I mean, as a true freshman, you well, love. To I'll say it. this too, mm -hmm. before we bring Buck, Bucky on because he's he's ready. Yep. But I'll say this: they got a, the big K kid coming in from uh, the USC commit. He's coming back on the 25th or whatever that is that we play Cincinnati. He was there for the Baylor game and he's a big, good looking offensive lineman as well. So again, the more five stars you have, the more five stars are attracted to the program. So True. yeah, he, wow. Seton's not just helping the guys that are there. Seton's going to be helping the next generation of players coming in, but Jordan pick up the phone and call Breck now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Amen. 